<laughs> Ron Phillip from Blackpool Market here. Update on the goal. Now we had this nice recent move down during the UK and the uh, US session yesterday. Uh, we kind of saw a, a bit of a re reverse during the US session. We saw that kind of come up. So I just want to break it down for you guys. This is the 30 minute time frame. Kind of look at some ideas and kind of ways you could have caught uh, some nice moves in here. So we'll start sort of a bit back here where we saw this nice sort of move to the downside. We saw that reverse. And then we saw the, the break of that, so we had a support created here. So we, sorry, yes, yeah, support created. Then we had that break, and now we had this retest. Now let's just call it a fake out what we see here. We see these two candles, one close, up, one close above, and the next one matches that uh, brother candle of it and closes below it. What we see next is that retest and a push to the downside. Now, looking at what happened during the US session, we can see, uh, as a, well, this is actually during the Asia, we, sorry, uh, UK session, we saw some sort of consolidation moves. As the market goes down, some consolidations and breaks and continue the trend. But as we get into the US session, we did see uh, the similar move over here. So what we had is, to break it down for you, we had this kind of move to the downside, we had a wick created, then we started to consolidate between sort of these two zones. Now if we look at what happened, we saw this next candle broke through that support and we saw the next one kind of match it pretty much exact. And what we saw after that was that retest. Now, in a fake out, this is what we look for, for the market to start reversing into its trend. So, we saw this wick over here created, and to look to the left, if we look to the left side, actually, let me zoom this in for you, uh, so we can break this down, and we can have a better look at this. Uh, move this over here. Uh, what we see here is that sort of consolidation zone that we were talking about, and we had this Work over here. We then had this nice fake out and we had that retest. So on that retest we saw this candle match pretty much exactly with this previous wick. Uh, as it closed above that support we had, uh, we had this, that was our pretty much our entry point obviously, a uh, stop loss below that zone to catch them to the upside. Now looking for take profit targets, we did kind of have a look for this sort of consolidation zone, so obviously that was our first target, and then the high of that consolidation zone, uh, which could potentially be your overall target. And what we saw is, we saw the market break through, and we saw it hit another sort of resistance coming up, and we start to see it consolidate. So, now we're getting this nice sort of consolidation zone, and what we're seeing is we saw this nice candle push down, following these previous support slash resistance zones, uh, and now we've completely rejected that as we kind of dip, as we start to dip into the a uh, Asian session, we know the rollover just happened, so markets are a bit more quiet than usual. Uh, so we could see, a, like I said, a bit of consolidation between these two zones until we see some market volume. Uh, now we know there's not much happening this week fundamentally, so we need to rely purely on our technicals. If we do push the downside, we could see a break of the zone in the next hand, obviously retest and push back down to our next sort of support and resistance zones. However, to the upside, we need to be a bit more careful because we do see a lot of consolidation here, nice messy moves. Uh, so if it does go to the upside, look for a move either to the upper channel over there, if not, uh, if it does go to the downside uh, for this year. But for the time being, keep in mind we are low market times, a little bit of low volume, uh, so this could be a bit of a dangerous area of trade. So those are the options we're looking for. Uh, hopefully we get some of those played out, so stay tuned and trade safe.